Okay, today just a quick video on repairing a switch for a Craftsman 6 inch bench grinder. That's up next here on Bud's Odd Jobs. Okay, and removing this, you'll see that there are three leads. Now I went ahead and took some tape and I have one with an R on it for the right lead and we'll put that on here and then another piece of tape with an L on for the left lead since those are both black that way I can differentiate between one and the other whenever I get my replacement switch and of course the white one is in the middle Okay, so the switch is retained in here with these uh, retaining clips. So to get that out, just basically need to squeeze those together and to push the switch through like so. And the switch comes out. Now you'll note the white dot here is on uh, on the on side or the right side and on that side I note that these two leads have circle on and that one has an oblong circle on. So looking at the switch itself I can see that it's a canal B series switch uh, it is uh, 10 amp or 15 amp uh, and it does show that it is uh, 125 VAC at 15 amp and at 10 amp 250 VAC. Uh, so I'm not sure how well we can see that here. So I'll take a moment I thought to show you what this switch looks like uh, inside. So if we, we grab another screwdriver here. If we pop both sides, we can pull this switch out, and this is what it looks like inside there. Hopefully you can see that. So on the, on the outside, or inside here, is a spring-loaded um, pole, I guess you would say. What's happened, the reason this stopped working correctly, is you'll see the, perhaps you can see the outside of this housing broke loose um, so that's allow this to sway like so and not properly push uh, this switch which I don't know how well you can see it on the bottom but that slides back and forth to make the the contacts to turn the uh, grinder on and off uh, so with that broken uh, this switch is no good and needs to be replaced uh, so I was able to source a lamp on Amazon. So um, as you see this SPST rocker switch with neon lamp uh, almost looks identical to the switch that I have. Not sure if it'll work for sure but uh, I did look in the comment section down there and uh, there was a gentleman that evidently replaced a switch for his neighbor's Craftsman bench grinder and said it worked great as a replacement switch. It does have the same uh, identification. I looked on the switch. It is a 16 amp uh, 125 VAC. Um, so assuming that it's going to work fine. And it does have a, a lighted switch just like the, the one that I'm replacing here. Uh, so uh, I really had a rough time sourcing this. I looked quite a bit. Looked on the Sears Craftsman website. Of course, uh, they'll show you the part, but you can't order on their site. So, uh, anyways, uh, I've got this, I expect this in a couple days, so once I get that switch, uh, we'll go ahead and hook it up and install it and see if it works. Okay, I received my switch from Amazon. Looks pretty close in size. It also has uh, the three prongs on it. Uh, so it looks like it's uh, a possible fit. We'll go ahead and try to install it and see how it does. Okay, I got my uh, switch mounted in the holder and it snaps in there real nice, uh, good snug fit. 
and according to the information that was on the Amazon website, uh, the first pin, which was the gold pin, is the neutral, that's where the white wire went, and this was the former, the one in the middle was the former wire that was on the right side, that goes in the middle on number two pole, and the uh, other uh, hot wire, uh, which was on three, still stays in that same position. So, if it's wired correctly, we should be able to turn it on, and uh, we should be fine. And there we go. So it appears that uh, everything is working fine, and the, uh, the switch is even lighted. I don't know if you can see that very well. But, uh, working well uh, with the uh, new switch. Okay, have my switch back in place. Everything's working properly. Uh, so we'll call this job done. Hey, thanks for watching.